is going to run it. Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Series ranking video for you guys. Been a minute since we've done this, but it is time to finally return. And if you guys were unaware, if you guys are interested in voting for the next version of this video, you know, we, we do like different characters, different wrestlers, different series of figures and things of that nature. Today we're covering WWE Elite Series 31 through 35. We've been working our way slowly but surely. You know, we again, we did kind of take a hiatus of this series, but we're back today and if you guys are interested in becoming voters of these style videos you have to be a patron member of the MDT YouTube channel and those guys huge shout out to those guys those guys are responsible for these videos and and what series comes next I give them a poll every single month and then they kind of decide what to do and the next one I don't know the next one that follows this video I don't know if that could really work as one of these style videos I I didn't realize there were this many figures but and it won the vote so I may have to I may have to veto the vote but I also apologize for the crazy mess back here. That's what happens when you got to review a bunch of figures back to back to back. But nonetheless, man, if you guys don't know how these videos work, basically we take a character or a WWE Elite Series and or a series of series, like in this video, we're ranking WWE Elite Series 31 through 35 from worst to best. We have all of our categories here, as you guys can see. At the top, we have Go Buy It. If I put a figure in the Go Buy It section, that means that I fully endorse the figure that you should add it to the collection. I think that it is Go Buy It worthy. You need to go buy it and purchase it in your collection next up is good figure now for good figure that typically means that maybe it's not quite go buy it but i would understand if you put it in your collection i would understand if you wanted to put that figure in there and, and make a good purchase right there i would totally understand you below that is meh where it's like the figure is not really bad it's not that good it's got maybe some good things about it it's got some bad things about it and it's right in the middle of the road where it's just like you know it's just kind of mid it's meh it's bleh tastes like garbage it doesn't taste like garbage it does, it's bland. Next up is barely acceptable. If it's in barely acceptable, that means you have one thing that is keeping you from the bottom category. Maybe it's a head sculpt. Maybe it's a sculpt. Maybe it's a you feel in hand, whatever the hell it is. It's keeping you from the very bottom, which is garbage, which if you're in the garbage, Brad, you don't want to be in the garbage. Garbage means you don't need to add the figure to your collection. You should just completely ignore its existence and get it, build a bridge and get over it. But nonetheless, man, let's dive into this ranking. Starting out first, we have WWE Elite Series 33 Blue Tista. For me, I'm gonna put this in meh. I used to think this is a pretty solid figure, and I still, I guess I like this figure, but if you guys are unaware, we have seen this in the Greatest Hit series, and now it has double jointed arms, better head sculpt. It's a much better version of this said figure, so it's meh. You know, I'm not gonna put it in good figure. That would just be ridiculous. Next up in the list, we have Elite 34 Pay. This one, for me, is almost most garbage bro i'm gonna put it in the barely acceptable category simply because i think it does have a lot of likeness to page it comes with two championships i like the gear like there's some good things going on with it but the single jointed arms the slappy hand with the fist very stiff legs basic boots it was i mean this is back in elite 34 when the the women's figures were nowhere near what they are today and so i can you know i can give it some pad that's the only reason it's getting a pass that figure right there will give you headaches and it's awful, but it's barely acceptable today. Next up, Elite 31 Seth Rollins. For me, this is also meh. I just, I'm not big on the, the shield figures, man. This is also back when Seth Rollins, like this is very early on. This is Seth Rollins' second Elite in the shield gear. And the skin tone was not really his skin tone. It was kind of the, it was the Daniel Bryan skin tone. And I just, I never cared for the shield figures. I just think that they, the leg mold got old really, really quick. Like, the head sculpt wasn't very good at all. Elite 25 Seth Rollins was much better in my opinion. And this one's just meh. It's middle of the road. It does not move the needle for me. Next up is Elite 33 Cesaro. I'm going to put this in good figure. I actually like this figure. You get the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. Great looking, like, formula. I think the head sculpt was kind of a miss. But I would put it in good figure. I enjoy that figure. And if you had it in meh, I would understand it, but, you know, that that is what it is. Next up is going to be the Elite 32 Cody Rhodes. This one's very challenging for me because I actually really, really like this figure. But do you need it in your collection? I mean, it's a really good figure. It poses around great, great formula, decent head sculpt. I like the hoodie accessory. I like the, the tires cool. I'm going to put it in the top of good figure could change at the end. At the end, we go through and we kind of move things around to see if maybe quite possibly things could move up. I'm going to leave them in good figure for now. Next up is Fernando and Diego. Let's get both of these guys out of the way right now. I don't know if I want to put them in barely acceptable. <sighs> I'm going to put these guys in barely acceptable because they actually pose around quite decent, but they are better than the page figure. 
I don't like their rubber jackets. I don't like their plastic waist wrap. I don't like that. They have basic boots, Brad. Basic boots, completely wasted two spots in an elite set. You know, I just, I don't think that we really needed these. You know, they got, I forget the name of the little thing there, but it's rubber as well. It's just, these are just bleh. Elite Series 31 through 35, man, we saw a lot of rough shot figures. Next up is Comic-Con exclusive Elite 34 Hulk Hogan. I'm saying Comic-Con exclusive because this is literally a elite figure of Hulk Hogan. If you were to go to the damn con and look down the aisle there with him at the setup table, this would be the Hulk Hogan that you would see. I'm going to put this in meh, but I like the way that he poses around, but he's not, I, I still, I'm putting him there, man. I cannot believe some of these figures are still here, man. I don't know, like, is this meh? I mean, it's a decent head sculpt. You get two shirts that are rubber, for the love of God. It's literally like modern-day Hogan, post-retirement garbage. I don't know, I'm going to put him in meh. I'm going to leave it there, I'm putting him in meh. He poses around well, which is, I guess, is a bonus, but... What's he going to be doing? Signing autographs at the con? I mean, Jesus. Next up is Elite 33 X-Pac. I like this figure. This is a good figure right here. Enjoy the head sculpt with the tongue out. You get the European Championship DX gear. Very good X-Pac figure. I like that figure a whole lot. If we didn't have the Legends, I would tell you to go buy it. But we have the Legends X-Pac now, and I don't think it's necessary that you go back and get this one. Even though it is in the green, I would just get the red Legends and then paint the the red or something. I don't know, but there's X-Pac and good figure. Next up, Elite 31, Dean Ambrose. Another meh figure, but I'm going to put him at the top here. I like the head sculpt a lot. I like the U.S. title. I like that he comes with the camcorder, which I think is unique, so I'm going to put him in meh right there at the top. Nothing over the top immaculate. You know, if you're a big shield guy, go back and grab it. We're not going to get updated shield figures unless they resign and they do some like extravaganza pack or something like that, so... You can just build a bridge on that one. Next up is Roman Reigns, another meh figure. I'd say it's better than Seth Rollins, but it's worse than these other two. I just, you know, he had the shoulder tattoo gap for a long, long time. They're really only now just getting to where they fix that. So I am i can't put him any higher than that. Uh, not the best head sculpt. I hated the penny belts, too. The penny belts are probably my least favorite tag titles of all time. And just the shield let. I just am not a fan of these figures, man. They give me headaches. Next up is going to be Earthquake. I'm going to put him in good figure. I'm not an Earthquake guy, but I think it represents the character really well. You get, you know, an Earthquake figure. We did see him in the Walmart exclusive line, like the TNF. And then he is coming back in the Greatest Hits line. I don't think that you need this one. It's a good figure. If you had it in your collection, I'd understand it. Again, this is what this is about. If you had it in your collection, I'd understand it. But... I'm not going to fully endorse the figure at this juncture. Next up, we have the Elite 31 Usos. These are very good. I enjoy these figures a lot. I'm going to put them at the top of good figure. I mean, you know, if you, like, I don't think that you really need these at this juncture, especially if you're a new collector. Unless you just love the Usos and want these older versions of them. I don't know why you would want them, but if that's what you want to do, you could do that. But again, it's it's their baby face runs in the in the green, and they're very cool figures. It's just you know we have so many updated Usos and the joggers, and that's the look and gimmick that I prefer. Honestly, I think that that move in 2016 like saved their careers because I felt like they were dead in the water for a while there, and so this is nice to see with the Usos here. I'd understand if you had them, but I don't think they're a must-have. Next up is Elite 31 Kane. This is just boring as hell. This is like my least favorite era of Kane right here, man. You got the removable mask. It's That gimmick never really works for me. I just don't think it works very well. This is the definition of meh. I mean, my God. Next up is the Hollywood Rock figure from Elite 31. I love the pants. I hate that they do this flip-flop jack stuff, man. His torso was not this jacked at this moment. You guys know that they love to the flip-flop between the two, but I just, I, I think this one's also just meh. Like, it's decent. Like, if you had it in the club, I'll put it in good figure. I'll put it in good figure. You get the club, like, I think that everybody's wanting a Hollywood rock. We're obviously getting the Ruthless Aggression version coming soon, so that'll kind of take this place. This is going to move down, obviously, because of that figure releasing, which is good, but, you know, that there it is. Next up is Vader. This one's meh. The reason this one's meh is because we have like two or three more Vaders that are better than this one now. And so I don't think this is necessary. I, again, you get single jointed arms. There's, more, there's multiple Vaders out there that you could replace this one with. I'm honestly shocked that the, we have not seen a go buy it yet. That is absolutely ridiculous. I feel like usually we have a couple go buy it right now. But I, I, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, Brad. 
Next up, we have one of my least favorite Mattels, or it, it's definitely, if I ranked my least favorite Mattel figures of all time, which may be a video, I think that's a video idea right there, man. The Elite 32 Big E figure. I don't like this figure. I think the only thing keeping it out of the garbage is the attire, because it's it's a white gear, and I like the white gear. I think the head sculpt doesn't look like Big E. I think Big E's figures are trash to pose around. His feet are tough to stand up, especially on those ball joints. I just, I, I'm not a fan of that figure, man. I just have never really been a fan of the head sculpt. I feel like they make his forehead look weird. Yeah, easy pass right there. Next up is Elite 32 Daniel Bryan. This figure is in the shelf warming hall of fame, son. It is, uh, it, like, I think it's a solid figure. I'm going to put it in good figure, I guess. I, I think that it's solid. It's a solid figure. It's shelf formed ridiculously. It is in the Shelf Warming Hall of Fame, no doubt about it. That thing, it's got the Wyatt Family Colt, you know, jumpsuit or mechanic outfit, whatever the hell you want to say it, overalls. And I think it's really cool and unique, but uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's 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 good figure. I can't put it in Go Buy It, I just, I, I don't know. Next up is Elite 32 Mark Henry, man. Elite Mark Henry figures are some of my least favorite of all time, man. Uh, so much negativity in this video, but I guess it's just the series that we're having to cover right now. But elite Mark Henry figures, they are just such a nightmare to pose around, man. They do not feel good in hand. They have the large knee pads, so you can't even bend the damn knee. The ankles get really, really loose, so he wants to fall over. I feel like they don't really represent his mass. I'm putting it in the garbage. I'm putting it in the garbage. Uh, I really want to put it in barely acceptable, though. I really do. I, I think I'll come back to that. We'll see. But for right now, he's in the garbage, man. I have had so many nightmarish stories with Elite Mark Henry figures. So I'm going to move on to Elite 32 Sin Cara, which I think is also a good figure. Feels good in the hand. Poses around nice. Looks very good. Aesthetically pleasing. Probably one of the better toyetic figures on this list. Very good figure. I actually enjoy that Sin Cara figure quite a bit. Next up is going to be Junkyard Dog. Now, I would tell you to go buy this, but we have two other versions of Junkyard Dog that are updated. I don't think they're double jointed arms though, so there's really not a big difference there. And he has the solid chain, but so does the other ones. I guess it's kind of just it's pick your poison, you know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go meh, just because the the Legends figures exist. Which I guess if you want this gear, go out and get this one, then head swap it with the Legends just for better likeness, maybe. But I'm gonna put it in meh. Again, a lot of these guys have been updated. I don't want to tell you to go buy a figure when it clearly it, there's a better version out there that, that could take its place. It would make no sense. Next up is going to be Elite 34 Wade Barrett. I actually like this figure. I still think it's a good figure. I think it represents Wade Barrett really, really good. But I don't think it's anything just over the top extraordinary. I think it gets the job done. I feel like the formula was really good on this guy, and it, it represented the time. So, I mean, what do you want, Brad? I remember buying that figure at retail, by God. I remember buying a lot of these at retail, which is crazy. When you look at a figure and you're like, damn, I remember seeing that on the pegs. That's interesting. And speaking of which, we have the Elite Doink right here. This one... I'm going to put it in the meh. I think it's toyetic, and I like that you get the bucket and all these different things. But again, we have the Ultimate Edition. Hey, go get the Ultimate Edition, man. Save up your money. Don't go buy this doink when you can go get the Ultimate Edition, right? So, like, what's the point there? I still am baffled that we're not in a go buy it yet. We still don't have a go buy it. And I don't know if there's one coming. We will have to see. But there is Doink the Clown there in the mess section. I think that's pretty accurate. Next up is Elite 34 John Cena. And this might be the first go buy it, but I don't, I, I, uh, head sculpt's not that good. Gear's not that good. I do like the lime green. I do like the camo shorts. The camo shorts are absolute fire. I mean, you could just head swap it, bro, and take the shirt off. I just, I, I don't, uh, no, no, it's good figure. I can't in good conscience put it any higher than good figure for now. Next up is Rusev. This is Matt again. I just, I think he posed around well, but I felt like he was so massive because he didn't have boots. Head sculpt wasn't abysmal. He felt pretty good in the hand. But go get the Elite 65 Rusev. I don't, I don't think this is necessarily like must-have or anything like that. It's a solid piece, but it's not the greatest piece of all time. There's better Rusev figures out there. Better than the Elite 46, though, I can say. But yeah, I'm going to put Rusev there. Just a kind of a boring figure there. Next up is the Elite 35 Luke Harper. Finally a go-buy it, for the love of Christ. 
What a damn good figure. I love that figure. Poses around well. Feels good in the hand. Great likeness to Luke Harper. Fantastic piece. I love that Luke Harper figure. I would I would fight somebody for that Luke Harper figure. I, just, I, I enjoy that one a hell of a lot. That's good stuff right there. That Luke Harper is the MVP of the video. And he may be the only damn go buy it in this section. Which I guess is going to depend on this Randy Orton right here. Which is in Blue Trunks Elite 35 Randy Orton. I don't like the head sculpt, but I love everything else from the neck down. And it does have single jointed arms, but by God, Brad, that blue, I'm going to put this one and go buy it. I really like this gear. You can easily head swap it. Not that big of a deal. I think that this is colorful enough to put in your collection. You know, it's different than all your other Randy Ortons you see. Outside of a couple, right, that Mattel have given us, I still like this Randy Orton a hell of a lot. Great figure. Go buy it. Next up is going to be Triple H Elite 35. This one's barely acceptable for me. Uh, you know, there, we, we have so many, we have so many Triple H's that are very, very similar to this, but he had the massive rubber overcoat deal, which is, it, like, the entrance helmet is cool, I like that, you know, they went outside the box here, but it's just a gigantic piece of rubber encasing the figure, and it's just like, no sir, barely acceptable. You could put it in meh, I guess, but I'm not gonna. And then the last figure that we have is Elite 32, Rey Mysterio. And for this one, uh, this is a solid piece. I, I, I don't think it's like the best figure of all time. It's a WCW Rey Mysterio. It's kind of plain Jane, but I guess it is a good figure. It's a good figure. It's a good figure. It's a good figure. It's a good figure. All right, I can admit it. That is pretty much all the rankings, man. I cannot believe we only had two Go Buy It figures. That's absolutely ridiculous, but I agree with it. I think that this is a pretty solid list. I can move this Cody up. I like this X-Pac. I like this whole, this good figure section right here. I'm enjoying I think I think we nailed it right here. I think we nailed it. I can, I can sleep at night looking at this list today. And, you know, going over it, analyzing it, breaking it all down. I think I can live with this. So that, that'll help me sleep at night. But that is going to wrap up ranking WWE Elite Series 31 through 35 from worst to best. And which figures you need and you don't need. And uh, hopefully you guys got some enjoyment out of that, of course. But I always enjoy ranking videos and ranking WWE action figures and stuff like that. So this is always very fun for me. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts down below. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Of course, leave all those things down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never